Great to be with you, Peter Barlas here again, and uh, I've had a little break from YouTube working on some new research grants uh, with the university and my research team, and some exciting work that we're um, looking at uh, accomplishing over the next uh, few years relevant to heart health, and I look forward to updating you over the next few weeks in terms of what some of the new developments in uh, heart research actually are. So today I wanted to focus on a topic relevant to heart monitors. And there are various heart monitors, and you might have had one called a halter monitor, which is an ECG that is placed on the outside on the skin for 24 hours and you carry a little machine with you. Well, I want to focus today on an actual implantable monitor called a loop recorder. Now, a loop recorder is an implantable device, so it's an invasive procedure, minimally invasive, I would say. However, it is an invasive procedure that requires the implantation of a chip under the skin. And the chip here, this is the, one of the more typical devices here. Uh, this is by a company called Medtronic, but essentially this is how small it is. And if I contrast that to uh, a AAA battery, you'll see how actual small it is. And it's a chip that nowadays is actually Bluetooth compatible and actually sits beneath the skin and can stay there long term. And that's the advantage of this type of monitor, that it is a long term monitor for several years, for example. So it's not relevant for everybody, of course, and it's only relevant for certain people with certain symptoms and conditions. And I want to go through what they are. But essentially, this chip is placed under some local anesthetic and remains beneath the skin. And then through a wireless technology, most often Bluetooth technology, there is an app that you'll have, for example, on your phone. And that app can receive data from the device that actually monitors your heart rate and the rhythm of your heart. And that's the beauty of this device. It actually can detect any abnormalities in your heart rate and rhythm. Now, why would you have one of these implantable monitors in? Well, if you've had symptoms, for example, of palpitations, and there are various different causes of palpitations, and in particular, we look at certain types of arrhythmias that can cause palpitations, and you've had other tests, and there might be tests that point to a, you know, a possible heart condition, well then this monitor can detect what exactly is going on if you were to have one of those episodes. Now, another reason why you might have an implantable recorder is if you are suffering from blackouts or near blackouts. And in some cases where we can't find an actual cause and they're unexplained, well, one of these recorders can actually be very, very useful to help detect whether your heart may be momentarily slowing down too much and causing your blackouts. And another reason why you might have an implantable recorder is if you've had a stroke. And there are various causes of stroke, but in some cases, Stroke may be caused by an irregularity of our heart rhythm, and that's a condition known as atrial fibrillation. Now, you might have heard of atrial fibrillation, or AF for short, but that is an irregular heart rate that actually puts us at risk of developing clots, and those small, tiny clots that develop inside our heart can float up into the brain and causing a stroke. Now, you might not have any symptoms of atrial fibrillation. You might not feel these flutters. You might not feel the irregularity. And many people don't actually know that they've got episodes of atrial fibrillation. And that's where one of these monitors can actually be very, very useful to actually detect whether the heart rate is actually in fibrillation or not. The monitors are inserted via local anesthetic, and you often might stay in. Uh, the hospital or the procedure room for a few hours, a bit of monitoring. There's a little bandage that is placed on top 
And certainly there's no restriction in terms of what you can do. Uh, MRI scans, for example, well, these devices now are MRI compatible, which means that you can safely have an MRI scan. And as you know, there have been previously pacemakers and devices that we implant whereby you are unable to have MRI scans because MRIs are not compatible with metal and metal can affect the MRI or the magnet. So these devices are all compatible. There's no restriction in what you can do and life continues on normally. But you have this ability to also document and record any symptoms you might feel via the app, for example. Or other devices might have a particular little monitor that you can click a button, press a button when you have symptoms. And that's important for your cardiologist to be able to correlate what your symptoms are and what actually is going on with your heart and the heart rhythm at the time of these symptoms. So they are not for everybody. We often perform the simpler tests and monitors, which are, for example, 24 hours, three day monitors or 30 day monitors. There are frequently other tests that should be performed, including ultrasounds of the heart called echocardiograms or an MRI scan of the heart. If there's a suspicion that you might have underlying conditions that affect the heart muscle and the rhythm of the heart. But the monitor can be useful, as I said, for those people who might be having blackouts where we don't have a clear explanation, who might have had a stroke with no particular known risk factors, uh, or if there are problematic palpitations that are causing significant symptoms. They are simply done, takes only about 10 to 15 minutes, and uh, life continues on normally. And then it's important to have regular contact with your healthcare professional just to follow up and, of course, document and keep track of any symptoms that you might feel so we can actually correlate what's actually going on with the heart rate and the rhythm of your heart. So hopefully you found that useful. Thanks again for all the support of the channel. Until the next video, bye for now.